Hello, welcome to the Antisocial Club. I'm Diamond Alexis. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I made this visor. Um, perfect for all the girls with locks, puffs, afros. So, I hope that y'all will enjoy this tutorial. Um, I wanted to make this as soon as I could to put it out right after the cap. I had a lot of people tell me, I have locks or I have big hair, I can't wear a cap. So this would be perfect. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I made this easy. This was my first one. So I was kind of doing it as I was doing the tutorial because I didn't want to have to make two of them. Um, so hopefully it's easy to understand. It's fairly just like the other one, just obviously not a whole cap. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for 10K subscribers. I really appreciate it so much. Y'all have no idea. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Hello. So these are all the materials that you're going to need. Um, First thing, you're going to need a visor. I got mine off of Amazon. I think it was like $10.00. It's Velcro, so you can adjust it. I just got a plain white one. Um, I have stitch markers, but you don't need stitch markers, honestly. But yeah, uh, size four yarn. This is Hobby Lobby brand yarn. It's in the color red. You're gonna need some type of thread or embroidery floss. I'm using embroidery floss. I got this from Walmart, I believe, in a package full of different colors. I'm using the color red. Um, you're going to need a size 6 hook. This is my favorite, favorite hook. Y'all know this by now. <laughs> I use this hook for everything. Either this or my size 8 hook. But you're going to use a size 6 hook for this tutorial. You're going to need some type of scissors. Um, yeah, these are just regular nail scissors, but I use them for my crochet. And then you're going to need some thread. I would recommend getting, I mean, not thread, some needles. You're going to need some needles. I would recommend getting some curved needles. It just makes everything a lot easier, like 10 times easier. But yeah, that's all the things you're going to need. To start the tutorial, what we're going to do is do a slip knot. We're going to start off with a slip knot, and then we're going to do a chain of 14 or however many you need to get you to these two corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Once you have 14, you can check it, make sure. It needs to like stretch to the ends. If you can just hold it still and it's to the ends, then you did it too long. It needs to be able to stretch to the ends because we're using acrylic yarn. Acrylic yarn um, likes to stretch, so you don't want to do it to the exact size. So after you do the 14, you're going to chain two. So one, two. You're going to go into the third stitch from the hook. So this is one, two. This is the third stitch. You're going to do a double crochet into the third stitch. So that's a double crochet into that third stitch. And then you're gonna put one double crochet all the way down to this very end. So you're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, do a double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, double crochet. And you're just gonna do that all the way down. So when you get to this last stitch, what you're gonna do is do another double crochet into that very same stitch that we just went through. So you're gonna insert your hook again and then do another double crochet. So in that last stitch, you'll have two double crochets. And what we're gonna do is go back around this way on this side. And so your next stitch is going to be in this stitch right here at the very bottom. So I got my pencil so you could see but you're gonna go into that next stitch, but at the bottom. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your work. Make sure you yarn over. So don't go into the stitch that we just went into, but into the next one. And you're gonna do a double crochet into that stitch. And what that does is make it round. So you're gonna do one double crochet into that one. You're gonna go into this very next one right here. And you're gonna do a double crochet into that. So double crochet. You're just gonna keep going. So the next stitch, one double crochet. The next stitch, one double crochet. You're just gonna do one each all the way down to the end. Okay, so when you're at the end, this is the end, not this one. So you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that chain that we did at the very beginning. So this was the chain two, and then remember we did a double crochet. So this is the chain two. You're gonna go into the very top of that chain two, which is this one right here, and you're going to do a slip stitch like that so after your slip stitch you're gonna chain three so one two three you're gonna go into this very same um, stitch that the chain three is attached to and you're gonna do a double crochet so you're just gonna double crochet into there and then you're gonna go into the next stitch right next to it and you're gonna do one double crochet gonna do one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next 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 one you're gonna do that all the way down one double crochet in the next one double crochet 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 and then in this next one is one double crochet but in the very next one after that you're going to do two double crochets so basically where we did the two on the last row you're gonna do two right above it so you're gonna yarn over go into that stitch and you're gonna put two double crochets in that same stitch so go back through Put another double crochet so then you'll have two so there's two you see that's where the last two were and then after that you're gonna put one double crochet in each stitch after that so just go into the next stitch one double crochet and you're just gonna do that all the way down okay so there's this like stitch that's really not a stitch that you usually would go into right here at the very end which is the very beginning where the chain three is at the beginning you want to go into that stitch as well so i'm just going to yarn over so technically this was the last stitch but this one right here you do want to go into so i'm just going to go into that one do a double crochet and then I'm gonna find the top of my chain that we did at the, did at the beginning and then we're going to slip stitch just like that and you're gonna chain three and then you're going to go into that same stitch that the chain three is connected to do a double crochet um, and I'm just going to do one double crochet in each stitch so no more increasing just one double crochet in each stitch so you're gonna go all the way around in each stitch you're just gonna do one double crochet just like so So right here in this curve, you're not gonna do any more increasing. So you don't have to do two double crochets. I'm just gonna do one and keep going around. 
just one in each stitch. Because there's no increasing or anything, you just wanna go into that very last stitch and then do a slip stitch at the very top of this chain. So you're not gonna go into this one right here that you're not gonna go into. You're just gonna go ahead and slip stitch to the top of that chain and chain three. And you basically wanna do it for however many rows that you're gonna need. So right now I'm I have about this much. I still need to go to here. So I might need about, what's that, two, four, six. I might need six or seven more rows. So I'm just gonna do six or seven more rows and then I'll be back to show y'all what to do when we get to these two corner pieces. Okay, so, so far I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Um, let's try and see. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch. I'm gonna try this on. Remember it's gonna stretch, so to be kind of tight. Mm. Oh, actually, that looks like enough rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna do seven rows. I would suggest trying your hat on to make sure seven is enough or if you need to do less, maybe your yarn runs a little bigger. Maybe your yarn runs smaller, or if you do a smaller yarn, or maybe you're doing a bigger yarn. So I would try it on as you're going. That way you can see how many rows that you need to do. But I'm going to do seven because we're already here and see it touches that. So for the sides, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna chain, so I slip stitch into the top of that chain. I'm gonna chain uh, three. And I'm going to double crochet into that same stitch where the chain three is. So you're gonna double crochet into that same stitch. Um, I'm gonna do, let's see, two, three, Four. Let's try five and see how that works. So I double crocheted. So I'm going to count this whole thing as one, two, three, four, five. So I did five. Let's see. That is enough. Again, you want to do it for your hat. All yarns like are different. I think this one runs smaller. I did my baseball hat the other day and that yarn ran really big <laughs> for some reason. But this one, see it runs, it runs smaller. So actually I'm gonna do, I did five. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do about six. So let's see, I might do crochet while it's on here, just to see, so. Let's do one in here, just to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I did six, so I'm going to count these where the chain is in this one. I'm going to count this whole thing as one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this off so it's easier. What we're gonna do is we're going to chain one. We're gonna chain one. We're gonna turn your work. Turn your work. You're gonna yarn over. So usually you would chain into this, I mean double crochet into this same like 
stitch where you chained, but we're not going to do that because we want to decrease. So I'm going to double crochet into this next stitch instead. So you're just going to do a double crochet. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch and you want to combine the last two stitches for however many stitches that you did. Um, so these are my last two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, go into there, bring up the loop, yarn over, go through two. I'm going to yarn over again, go through the stitch, pick up the loop, yarn through two, yarn over, yarn through three. And that's how you combine a stitch. So that'll give us a decrease, not only on this side, but on this side as well. So it'll give us like a point for a triangle because it'll make this triangle right here. And you're going to, again, yarn, I mean, yarn, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, decreasing still so you're not going to go into this very same stitch you're not going to go into the very first stitch you're going to go into the next one and do a double crochet so double crochet into that next stitch and then we're going to combine these two so you're going to yarn over go through the stitch pull up the yarn yarn through two yarn over go through the stitch pull up the yarn yarn over Go through two, yarn over, go through three. And that gives you your decreases. Um, you're going to yarn over again. Chain one. Turn your work. And then just put one double crochet in the next stitch remember you're not going to go into that same stitch where the chain is you're going to go to the next one and that's it you're left that's like your last row because other than that you would just be chaining so that's your last row um so after you do that i would recommend trying it on the hat just to make sure that it looks right just in case you need to change some things up do something different you know but that's perfect so it'll be like that see how perfect that fits it's like you know it's just you know just perfect so um i like to look for where the seam is so where we did all those chains see how they're going more on this side they're starting to lean on this side instead of this side so that's how I know which side is my bottom part that's gonna be under here so this will be underneath so that way you're not seeing that at the top because you don't want to be able to see it you don't you want it to be like unseen so you're gonna make sure you find that seam part make sure you make that your bottom so what we're gonna do is after you do that you're going to just randomly slip stitch through the side of this part so I just do it randomly there's no like <laughs> system or anything that I do where it looks the same each time I just randomly go through you want to make sure you're not doing it super tight though you kind of just want to slip stitch till you get all the way to the bottom do it all the way to the bottom so this is the very first stitch at the bottom so what I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to do a single crochet and I'm going to do single crochets all the way along the side. Go into the next stitch, stitch, do a single crochet. Next stitch, do a single crochet. Oops, next stitch. So you go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
go through two and that's a single crochet so you're just going to do single crochets and what you want to do is you want to do single crochets until you get to the other side so you want it to be pretty even so i'm gonna do it until i get to maybe maybe here and then i'll start my uh six double crochets to do the point on this side um so that's what i'm gonna do so single crochet until you get to where it's pretty even to the other side okay so we're gonna try it right here i'm gonna yarn over do a double crochet double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to do it six times or however many times you did yours mine was six so i'm going to do it six times so what is that one two three four five and then the six and i like to make sure that it is even just in case i need to move it over yeah, so that looks pretty even. So what I'm gonna do, um, in case y'all are wondering, I did about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did about ten single crochets, and then I did my six double crochets, just in case anybody's wondering um so 10 single crochets along here and then i did six double crochets for the double crochets we're going to um once you do the six you're gonna chain one like we did on the other side and then you're gonna turn your work remember you're gonna skip this very first one and you're gonna go into the second one instead because we're decreasing so you want to double crochet into here You want to double crochet into the next one you're gonna double crochet into the next one so that's three so far and then for this one you're going to decrease so you're gonna do yarn over go through two you're gonna yarn over go through the stitch yarn over go through two and then yarn over go through three to decrease and combine those two stitches so that's what it look like and you're gonna chain one do the same thing remember not go through this one go to the next one double crochet we're gonna combine these two so go through two yarn over go through the stitch the next stitch yarn over go through two and over go through three chain one turn your work and then just double crochet into the very last stitch which is the second one because again you don't want to go through that one and that's literally it and what I like to do is so it's round like this side I just slip stitch through a random part and I'll do it twice and then I chain one and then I pull it through and that's it so before I cut it off that's what it looks like it looks like a grocery bag almost so if you do a bigger version of this and have like holes right here, you can make yourself a big grocery bag. That would be really cute. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try it on just to make sure before I cut my yarn. You always wanna try things on just in case because you just never know. Things get a little wonky sometimes. Um so just do that and that's perfect so that's the bottom part that's the visor part so for this part of the hat 
we're going to basically chain from here all the way around to this side. So you're just gonna chain from here all the way around to here. That's what we're gonna do right now. I'm just gonna do a slip knot. You're gonna chain, so one, two, three, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I did about 50, and when you stretch it, it goes around. You wanna make sure, again, that you're doing a bit smaller than you would usually because it's gonna stretch. So I think 50 looks pretty good. So we're gonna do 50. So we're just gonna double crochet until we get about up to here. And you know, obviously it'll stretch. So we'll just stretch this part out. I'm just going to chain two and then I'm going to go into the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, this is the third. You're going to go into that. And we're going to double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. You're going to crochet, double crochet all the way down. You're just going to double crochet all the way down. Okay, so now that we're at the end, we have our chain i'm just gonna try it on here one more time to make sure yeah that's that's good so to go to the next row you're gonna chain two one two turn your work you're gonna go into that very same stitch that the chain two was in that's the first stitch. So you're gonna go into there and you're gonna do a double crochet. So it'll look like that. <clears throat> and then you're gonna double crochet into the next stitch and you're gonna double crochet all the way down until you get back to the other side. So now we are at the end. Got these two left. Okay, so this is the end. This is what it looks like. And just to see, see how this fits on there perfectly. I'm gonna do it like that. And again, we're just going to, it's going to stretch, so we're going to stretch it out, but that's what it looks like. Um, I think I'm actually going to leave mine for the three rows, because see how many, how spacey this one is? I kind of want those same spaces in between mine, so I'm probably going to like stretch it out. Okay, so now that we have our three rows, mine is three rows. If yours needs more or if you need less, then do less. If you need more, do more. I went ahead and weaved in my ends. Um, I would recommend weaving in your ends, especially for this part, before you sew it down. Because we're going to go ahead and sew it down. What we're going to do is sew the sides down first and then we'll get to the like middle part i would highly recommend getting like a curved needle especially if you're going to be taking orders for like either this or the baseball cap because it's so much easier um i'm also using embroidery floss but you can just use regular thread i'm only using embroidery floss because one, I have a bunch of embroidery floss because I don't really use it. And I have them in different colors so I can find one that matches my yarn. And I think that is really cute. 
so I don't know why I got so much string. I don't need that much. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our end and we're gonna sew it down. And I'll probably do a voiceover for this part. Hello, voiceover diamond here. Um, so I basically just sewed everything down to the cap or to the visor. Um, what I did, what I would recommend y'all do so y'all aren't struggling like I was, I would recommend, so when you look at your visor, there's like two seams and there's this like middle part. I would recommend going through one seam, like going through the middle because I was struggling. It doesn't help that my hands and stuff are still hurting. Um, but I had to get my, what is that, like pliers to help me out because it was hard to go through this. It was very hard, but I was also doing it very difficult. So I would recommend going through the two seams in the middle and just going through one instead of going trying to go through both of them. And I honestly would recommend going through the seam on the inside instead of the outside seam like I did because it will cover a lot of the color underneath the cap. So that was the only thing I didn't like about my hat is that you could kind of see the white or where I sewed the crochet down. So just a little tip. So kind of just to say what I was saying before, now that it's on the hat. So see how this space is here? I'm gonna stretch mine out, but if you don't wanna do that, before you uh, sew it on the cap, you would just do like either single crochets, you might could do some single crochets here. Some single crochets, get to about here, do like half double crochets. When you got here, when you get here, you could do double crochets, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, do, um, sorry, it's bleeding, do half double crochets around here, and then do, like, single crochets, slip stitch in, like, this area. You know, just go, like, increase, decrease. Decrease, increase, 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 decrease, you know, something like that. So, just a recommendation. If you figure out a different way to do it, that's fine too. That's just the way I personally would do it if that's how I was doing it. So, I just wanted to come on here and kind of explain it again. So, I'm going to finish sewing down the rest of my hat. But, yeah, so, <laughs> um, just... Try to go through one seam and not both of them. It will save you a lot of time and it'll be a lot easier. And yeah, so you'll see me uh, just sewing this part down. I sewed the top down first, the top of the visor. I would recommend sewing the top part down, especially if you're going to do like I did and stretch it out. Um... Because it's just, it's just easier. It's just easier. You know, you gotta do things the easy way. You don't want to do them the hard way. I'll slow the video down here in a second to show you me sewing this part down. The brim to the... Gosh, like, what are the names of these things? <laughs> this is me sewing the brim part down to the, like, base, I guess. I slowed this down so y'all could see. And you see, I just pull it. And then I just adjust it. And that's why I said to sew the top down first. Because if you do the bottom, I just feel like it'll not work out. And it'll be difficult. Um, But yeah. Just going to do that all the way around. And then you go back and you sew the bottom. But you can kind of see like here, I go through the middle part. So much easier. I still have to use my pliers. Like I said, I'm still trying to get over my hands and arms hurting and little tedious stuff like this does not help <laughs> but um yeah this curved needle oh, perfect for trying to sew this brim part down 10 out of 10 would recommend 10 out of 10 would recommend um like i said it'll help you a lot if you're trying to take orders and stuff but anywho this is the finished 
product. This is what it looks like. Um, obviously a little plain here, but as you saw in the intro and you'll see in a second, I added some um, things to make it more interesting. Oh, for this back part, if you don't want it showing like this, I would crochet just like a row and then sew it down. I'll explain it more in the outro, but this is the finished hat. So I hope that y'all like this tutorial. <laughs> Shout out to, I'll put her name right here on the screen. This is her Instagram handle. Um, she actually had the smartest idea. Oh my gosh, she had the smartest idea. And it was to actually put croc gibbets. I think they're called gibbets. Put croc gibbets in your hat. So that's what I did with mine this time because I thought that was so smart. She was like, I'm very indecisive. And I saw the whole, so I was like, let me put a croc gibbet and it works like i haven't had any fallout as you can see it just pops in there it stays put it through the hole you can put different ones like i have anime gibbets so i could put some anime gibbets on here um i have these gibbets these are really the only gibbets i have but yeah you see how it took a minute for me to even get it out so that is a great idea i'll put her name on the um screen right here and i'll also put it in the description so go show her some love because that idea is is genius i wish i would have thought of it i did not think of it though but um yeah so that is the finished hat i just put some um piercing some like earrings in here this is actually like my nose ring and my cartilage earrings i put them in here because i have a bunch i have the scorpio thing from my last hat that I did my uh cap that I did in my last tutorial I put it on this one because somebody bought the other one and they weren't a Scorpio <laughs> so I just put it on here um put my tag and yeah that's pretty much it um for this back part I don't have anything but you are more than welcome to crochet something like um crochet just like a one row type of thing and sew it on top of this that way you're not having this part showing or if you get a hat the color of your yarn you can also do that as well i wanted the white to show through mine which i said a few times so i don't mind it but i know some people are going to be like mm, i don't like that so just crochet like one uh, row and then sew it on the back and you can do it that way or like i said get a hat a cap that's the same color as your yarn um but yeah i hope i made this tutorial super 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 easy to follow hopefully y'all got it um let me know any questions y'all have below if you got this far in the video comment a red heart and yeah thank y'all so so much for watching again thank y'all so much for 10k subscribers it really means so much to me you have no idea i will forever say thank you because i'm thankful and yeah make sure y'all like comment subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye